Actually, Avon Green, you know, because it's all about the money. Hello, my dun, 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 dun. Financial journalist and educator Kalila Reynolds is here to educate us on how to use our salary wisely before <laughs> and after the holidays. After the holidays, we won't have any. A joke. Um, just joking. Good morning, Not after you talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> Getting and keeping morning. the bag. How are you? I am great. It's so good to see you. It's good and to see you, too. I love the set, too. all decorated Excellent. for Excellent. Thank you. And you fit in quite nicely in your green. Um, so you are here to give us some some useful tips. We just talked to Keenan about Outlook and, you know, what's going on in the supermarket and every store you mm -hmm. go into. Um, it's a tough time for a lot of people. It is. Inflation is at 10%. So everything costs 10% more than 10%. it did last year. 10%. Mm -hmm. Might feel like more in your pocket. Probably. Yeah. But, but getting the bag for a lot of people is difficult, much less to keep it. Um, so let's look at some of your... Or, or the discussion points this morning. Um, this year, we're looking at, this point says 86% of millennials overspent on holiday gifts last year. And a holiday study from American Express found that 86% of millennials spent more money during the well, that's to say, than they planned to. So what does that speak to for you? And what are our key takeaways for, for here right. in JA? Listen, it is so easy to overspend during the holidays because things are there. It's convenient. You have all the sales. We just came off Black Friday, Cyber Monday weekend. Everything is discounted. But you have to remember, it's not, you're not really saving money if you didn't plan to spend on that item. You're actually spending more than you planned to spend. So if you didn't already make a list and make a budget, which is where I want to start today, budget. then you're not saving anything at all. So my number one tip for this season is to set your budget mm -hmm. and it's an, a word that people don't like to hear because it feels I've... so it feels so restrictive and you're constrained by this thing but if you want to enter 2023 with any semblance of success and you're not broke right, for the new year you got to decide in advance how much you're gonna spend on each item on holiday decorations on food and on gifts and those are the three primary things we spend on during the holiday so set your budget download a budgeting app and track your spending track it track it download mm -hmm. a budgeting app right now i recommend one called home budget it's free and it allows you to input everything that you spend on and it's, it gives you a little green bar when you're when you still have money in the budget and it turns red when you're approaching your budgetary limit so I track to make sure phone and slap me. track to make sure that you don't overspend what's it what's the app called